What is going on everybody, Nazdrachi coming back at you again today with another 5.9 news flash piece with some breaking information about Blizzard. Oh joy, something we've loved to talk about recently, but this is actually a pretty big piece of news, so it shouldn't take us too long to cover, but as you can see over to my side, we have Blizzard effectively canceling BlizzCon or BlizzCon Line for 2022. They've given a little bit of clarity, some details here, so let's jump into the article, read their statement, and kind of dissect what we can infer from what they're trying to say here. All right, so to the Blizzard community, we've decided to take a step back and pause on planning the previously announced BlizzCon Line event scheduled for early next year. This was a tough decision for all of us to make, but it's the right one. Any BlizzCon event takes every single one of us to make happen, an entire company effort fueled by our desire to share what we create with the community we care about so much. At this time, we feel the energy it would take to put on a show like this is best directed towards supporting our teams and progressing development of our games and experiences. So essentially, what it seems like they're trying to say right now is Oh, there's a little two things going on here. It, basically, they are aware that their performance has been somewhat under par here, as in, like, they haven't really been working on anything new and exciting. They haven't really been putting out a whole lot of new quality products. We do know that Diablo 2 Resurrected came out recently. I've been enjoying it, but it's not something that's probably going to save their company. So they need to be working on some big-ticket things. Of course, they have Diablo 4. Outside of that, in Hearthstone... They really don't have a lot going on right now, which is not great for their company. So it seems like they're self-aware enough to know that they need to double down on their efforts to produce good products that the community, that the consumers enjoy. And they don't have too much to spend, you know, reveling in or celebrating right now at the moment. Not only that, but there is a very dark cloud hanging over Blizzard in the form of the lawsuits, the harassment allegations, and all that stuff going on via the court system in California, of course. And they're probably, again, additionally self-aware that it's not the best time to be celebrating the culture, the lifestyle of Blizzard at this moment, because there's a lot of stuff that's still coming out with those lawsuits. And they're in kind of like a murky spot. The, mu the water's a little bit muddy. And again, it's not the best time to be celebrating Blizzard culture as a lifestyle. So it is very unfortunate, but it seems like they're aware of that. And they want to take that time, the effort, the money, the resources to just produce things, which again, I don't necessarily think is a bad idea. Additionally, we would like to take the time to reimagine what a BlizzCon event of the future could look like. The first BlizzCon was held 16 years ago, and so much has changed in the time since. Most notably, the multiple ways in which players and communities can come together and feel like they are part of something bigger. Whatever the event looks like in the future, we also need to ensure that it feels safe and welcoming and in as inclusive as possible. We're committed to the continual communication with our players, and we'll see BlizzCon playing a big role in that going forward. We're excited about what we'll do with the event when we revisit it in the future. So again, it seems like they're echoing the fact that right now is not the best time to have this self-celebratory, self-patting on the back type of event because of the just the whole hemisphere around Blizzard at the time. And not only that, this does have, you know, a more genuine safety concern in it because of COVID and stuff like that. Like, will it be safe to have these enormous conventions where thousands, tens of thousands of people even show up and congregate in the same space? Or is it going to be mostly digital? Do you buy tickets to digital? Does that include everyone? What kind of social space is that? Like, how do you link people up, make it a hype event? How do you generate revenue off of, like, vendors and stuff if it's all digital? So there's a lot of things that need to be tackled in the world Moving forward, not only with just Blizzard and their internal problems, so I do understand and I feel for them because of that. I really hope that it's gonna be in-person events though. Now, I'm not a huge person that goes to BlizzCon specifically, but as someone who's really sick and tired of the world the way it is right now, it'd be great if we could get back to a world where we can get out of the house, do fun things out in public, socially, meet new people, and not be confined to like digital-only events. Now, understandably, there has to be a safe atmosphere that will allow that type of behavior to come back to life and continue. But I'm just saying that I'm expressing my hope that it does return to that at some point. And I would be pretty sad if we moved into a world 2022 and onwards where all conventions, all stuff like this was only digital. So hopefully we can get back to that better world. 
where the virus has been defeated. One more thing we wanted to make clear, even though we aren't holding BlizzCon Line in February, we'll still be making announcements and updates for our games. We're proud of our teams and the progress they've made across our games and the things that they've been working on. We have a lot of exciting upcoming news and releases to share with you. You'll continue hearing about those through our franchise channels with the talented people on the BlizzCon team playing a part in supporting these efforts. We'll miss seeing you, but don't worry, we'll be back together soon. So again, it sounds like they're gonna do something kind of similar to like the Nintendo Direct or the way that the Sony does their shows where they will have some type of like YouTube, Twitch, like program set up, you know, probably very scripted to go over, you know, what they've been working on and what the viewers, the players of their games can be excited for looking to the future, which is good. At very minimum, they definitely need to keep doing that to keep the hype building for Diablo 4 and whatever else they may be able to crank out to try and win back some of the audience. Now, I just, we don't know, like, will Blizzard ever be able to save their turn around their reputation? Would it be better if they just changed their name and made a new convention around a new name and a new brand? Interested to see what you guys in the comments think. And if you were someone that went to BlizzCon especially, let us know what your thoughts are on all this. Again, I know Blizzard is in some hot water and most of that is their own doing, rightfully deserved, but I would like to see a return to a world where we can all go out and enjoy each other's company in public at conventions with lots of people and be safe. You know, that's not restricted to Blizzard specifically. I just hope for a return to that someday. And again, it is unfortunate that Blizzard is going through so many problems, but a lot of those are self-inflicted and if they make the right moves and do the right things, maybe they can recover from it over time. I think like with all things, with any healing, it's not gonna be something that happens overnight. It's gonna be a long road to recovery and them showing that they're taking the proper steps to address the very severe grievances that people have called out on their company. With that being said, I'm definitely interested in hearing more about Diablo 4 at minimum. Let me know what your thoughts are on the whole BlizzCon situation and down below in the comments and we'll be seeing you again real soon. This is Naz Drachi from 5.9. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more content every day across multiple channels. And if you enjoy the video, consider hitting a thumbs up on it so it'll spread it out. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.